Dies ist das erste Bild eines schwarzen Lochs, aufgenommen von Forschern des Event Horizon Telescope Projekts. Es zeigt das schwarze Loch in der Galaxie M87 mit einer ringartigen Struktur um die zentrale dunkle Region, dem Schatten. We have targeted M87, which is a galaxy not too far from here, and its center has a, what we think is a black hole with about six billion solar masses. This makes it very large on, on the sky, despite the fact that it is far away from us. We have then used a set of radio telescopes, which are distributed on the globe, to receive the light from this, the center of this galaxy all at the same time and put it together so that we can have a very high resolution, uh, a picture of the black hole with the highest possible resolution. This was not possible before and it's just the technological advancement of the last few years which have allowed us to do that. The Event Horizon Telescope is an international collaboration bringing up groups from Europe, the US and Asia, in particular Taiwan and Japan. And Within Europe, we are part of the Black Hole CAM project. It's an ERC synergy grant funded by the European Research Council. And I partner with Heino Falken in Nijmegen and Michael Kramer in Bonn. What we do here at the Goethe University in particular is to provide an in theoretical understanding and interpretation of the observations. In other words, we try to explain what is it that we see and why it looks exactly like that. And for doing this, we need uh, to perform simulations on different stages. Particularly, we need to perform simulations on supercomputers that tell us how plasma falls onto a black hole. In the reality, most of the matter is does not directly fall onto the black hole. Is the matter is usually it rotates around to the black hole. This is similar to the, uh, the Saturn. It's surrounded around to the ring st structure. Accretion disk is weakly magnetized plasma. In the magnetic field in the accretion disk, it becomes the tablet. Then it's the matter is due to the, uh, the rotation speed. Then it falls onto the black hole. So as the magnetized gas is falling onto the black hole, it heats up and therefore generates the light that we then see. Now from our daily experience, we expect that light travels on straight paths and straight trajectories. We call them rays. Uh, here the situation is very different. We have a black hole sitting right there and it's extreme gravity. It is deflecting and bending the light rays away from the straight paths and it basically distorts the image by a great amount. So uh, in fact you can see things that are actually behind the black hole and that you thought were obstructed by the black hole simply because the black hole is bending the light rays into your line of sight. So if you think about how the image is supposed to look like, you expect that the black hole itself doesn't emit any light, so you expect a dark region, and around that dark region you expect a bright ring of emission coming from all those light rays that are strongly deflected and had plenty of time to move around the black hole and collect the light that we see. Nachdem wir die Strahlung von unseren Simulationen berechnet haben, müssen wir sie an die Beobachtung anpassen, um zu festzustellen, ob unsere Modelle übereinstimmen mit den Beobachtungen. Und das kann man sich so vorstellen, dass sie im Stadion sind, mit 60.000 Leuten gefüllt, und sie haben ein Bild. Und auf diesem Bild wissen sie erstmal nicht, was auf diesem Bild ist, zum Beispiel eine Katze, ein Mensch. Und sie versuchen, dieses Bild innerhalb der Zuschauer wiederzufinden. Und was sie dazu machen, ist, sie nehmen das Bild, sie rotieren es, sie skalieren es, sie ändern den Kontrast und sie vergleichen das mit den Zuschauern. Und am Ende werden sie statt 60.000 äh, Übereinstimmungen vielleicht 10 haben, die mit dem Bild übereinstimmen. Und genau das machen wir innerhalb des EHTs, um unsere Modelle an die Daten anzupassen. Das hört sich jetzt trivial an, ist es aber nicht. Ich persönlich habe ein Jahr an dem Code geschrieben, der diese Daten an die Modelle anpasst. Und zwar ist das ein genetischer Algorithmus. Das ist ein sehr eleganter Weg, um durch diesen Parameterraum durchzulaufen und um das effizient zu machen. Und wir benötigen dafür einen Supercomputer, um das zu rechnen. So einen haben wir in Frankfurt. Und wir rechnen dort ungefähr einen Monat, um diese Bilder anzupassen. Und am Ende haben wir ungefähr zehn Modelle gefunden, die mit den EHT-Daten übereinstimmen. 
through the years, people have been proposing also alternative objects that mimic the properties of, of black holes that are uh, called black hole mimickers. And now with the Event Horizon Telescope, we have for the first time the opportunity to, to look at black hole candidates uh, closely enough to see whether they are really black holes or they show features corresponding to these other kind of objects. For example, here in Frankfurt, we have simulated accretion onto a boson star, which is one of these mimickers, and we see a flow behavior that is very different from what we expect in a black hole. Black holes are represent for, for me, uh, uh, as a theoretical physicist, a bit of a no-go area, right? Because there is a portion of them that you can study, but you cannot test. Because whatever tests you carry out inside a black hole, you cannot uh, experiment for an external observer. So for me, this has a very deep sense of fascination. And um, I was thinking about black holes a lot when I was sailing on a small sailing boat across the Atlantic. And during the night shifts, you had to kill time and, you know, beautiful skies, no light, pollution. And you can see so many beautiful uh, stars. You can see the galaxy the Milky Way perfectly well. And thinking about there are so many black holes in that, in that environment really was a way of keeping myself awake and uh, avoid falling asleep. Damals, als ich angefangen habe, mich für schwarze Löcher wirklich zu interessieren, hätte ich schon irgendwie damit gerechnet oder gehofft, dass man schwarze Löcher auch tatsächlich abbilden kann. Aber das war wahrscheinlich ein bisschen naiv. Ich dachte damals, es gibt sehr viele enorme technische Errungenschaften in der Forschung, die unglaublich erschienen und dennoch erreichbar waren. Aber hätte ich damals wirklich ausgerechnet, wie klein diese schwarzen Löcher sind, selbst die größten, die wir auf dem Himmel kennen, hätte ich, glaube ich, nicht daran geglaubt, dass wir das schaffen. Also es ist schon eine enorme technische Errungenschaft, dass wir überhaupt in der Lage sind, diese Bilder zu machen. Was mich am meisten an der EAT-Kollaboration fasziniert, ist, dass es eine internationale Kooperation ist, mit den führenden Experten in der Theorie als auch in der Beobachtung. Und in meiner täglichen Arbeit lerne ich ständig dazu. Also ich werde ständig herausgefordert und lerne Neues. We teamed up by an excellent group of collaborators that have provided fundamental contribution to the Event Horizon Telescope. So much so that nowadays Frankfurt is worldwide recognized as a leading center for the theory of supermassive black holes. As a child, I used to read the science magazines where they talk about black holes, and all of this was really fascinating. But at that time, I never imagined that, that at some point I would actually study them myself. So even when I was studying to become a physicist, I didn't realize I wanted to study black holes until I met a PhD student that was doing his thesis about the shadows of black holes. So he talked me about um, these shadows and about the, the very exciting uh, possibility of taking a picture of one of them with the Event Horizon Telescope. And so uh, after knowing that, that they, here in Frankfurt they were uh, part of this project, I became very excited and, and now I am here. Yes, I stuck to the, uh, the problem, so I usually try to solve in photo the, this problem hardly. But if I couldn't get in photo the uh, solution, I usually go outside. So here is a, is a go to the outside, we see the many nice park around here. I can uh, sit into the park and then to become the relaxed. Then usually I can get in for the very nice idea to get in for the solve the problem. Then we back to the office, then usually we solve the problem. Black holes actually are very difficult to study. That's why it's been a challenge which has not been uh, accomplished yet. Die theoretischen Physiker der Goethe-Universität werden weiter nach Antworten suchen, um die Geheimnisse des Universums zu entschlüsseln.